This video describes a new feature in Stack Graphics Centurion version 17 that allows you to add additional objects to any graph. These objects are added after a graph has been created by pushing a button on the analysis toolbar. You may add text strings, lines, rectangles and ellipses, arrows, and functions of x. Importantly, objects are positioned in plot coordinates, so if you zoom and pan or change the axis scaling, the objects will stay where you want them. Here you see a typical scatter plot using data from the World Bank. It shows for the year 2009 the life expectancy of females on the y-axis and males on the x-axis. Each point represents one of the 188 countries in the World Bank's data file. I'd now like to add some information to this plot to make it more informative. The first thing I'd like to do is add a reference line showing where female life expectancy is equal to male life expectancy. To do so, I'll go up to the Analysis toolbar and press the Add Object button. This opens up a dialog box listing the different objects I can add to the graph. If I select Function, I can then go down to the Function field and type in, for example, x, and it will plot a function y equals x. When I push Apply, it will be added to the graph. You can now see that in almost every country, female life expectancy is greater than male life expectancy. I'd now like to add a second reference line to the plot showing where female life expectancy is 10 years greater than male life expectancy. I'll go back to the Add Object dialog box, select Function again, this time type in x plus 10. Before I plot it, however, I'll press Properties and then Colors and ask for this reference line to be plotted in red. You can see that a few countries are even above this reference line. Let's go ahead now and add some labels to the plot. I'll go back to the Add Objects dialog box. This time, select Arrow. I'm going to locate my first arrow at x equals 70 and y equals 70. I'll push Properties to tell it that I want an upward pointing arrow. And the text I'd like to add is female equals male. I'll then push Apply and Done. And you can see that an arrow is pointing to the location 7070 on my graph. Now let's label the second line. I'll go back to the Add Object dialog box, tell it I want an arrow. This arrow I'd like to point to the position x equals 50, y equals 60. The type of arrow I want this time is a downward pointing arrow. And the text I want to enter is female equals male plus 10. Let's also change the fonts. I think I'll make this text red. Push OK, push Apply, and you'll see I now have a second label pointing at my second reference line. Let's annotate the graph a bit more. I'll go back to the Add Objects dialog box. This time, though, I'll pick Rectangle to put my text inside a rectangle. I need to enter the coordinates of opposite corners of the rectangle. In this case, I'd like my rectangle to go from x equals 45 and y equals 80 to x equals 65 and y equals 90. I'm also going to push the Properties button, ask for a solid fill, push the Colors button to make it green, and then press OK twice. The text I want to enter is women live longer. 
I'll push apply and then done and you can see that my text has been added to the graph. Finally, I'd like to add a note to my graph about where my data came from. I'll go back to the Add Objects dialog box. This time, pick just text string. The string I want to locate at the bottom right corner of my graph, which corresponds to the point x equals 90, y equals 40, which I'll type in the x1 and y1 fields. Okay. The text itself is going to be source the world bank. Two more things to do. First, I'm going to push the properties button and set the reference position for that text. The reference position corresponds to the position on the text string for which I specified the coordinates, which in this case is the bottom right. I'm also going to push the fonts button and reduce the size of the font a bit. Pushing apply and done, I now have my final graph. The add object dialog box is an important new addition to version 17 which allows you to make your graphs much more informative.